today I'm going to be doing a foundation review wear test video. Um, I received the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream from Octoly and Becca and I have the shade Buff. Um, I've tried this foundation once but it was a kind of a tryout where I didn't have any other foundation around me. And so I used this one, but I didn't like pay attention to it whatsoever because I just needed some foundation on for the video that I was doing. So I'm actually going to put it to the test today and check it out. I'm going to give it six to eight hours of a wear, and then I'm going to be checking with you guys throughout my day. Um, I currently have some bare skin. So I'm going to be starting out by moisturizing my face with my favorite thing to use under all foundations, which is the e.l.f. Hydrating Serum. I talk about this so much. I talk about my end of year beauty favorite, monthly favorite. I use it a lot, it's just, it's so good and hydrating. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in a drugstore, so it's like super affordable. All right, so I'm gonna be going in with some primer. This is a Stila One Step Correct. I use this a ton, I use it on a lot of clients. I use it on myself. It's really, it's a one step correct. It has some color correcting properties, some smoothing properties, just all the properties. And I'm just going to apply this all over my skin. It just gives you a nice even base for your foundation. Okay, so this basically says it is a full coverage 24 hour wear water resistant foundation enriched with intense pigment and water to achieve natural weightless coverage. This it's the skin types is good for a sensitive, normal, dry combination and oily. Um, so essentially it's supposed to be good for every skin type and it has a natural finish and it says the coverage is full. It says, what is it? A full coverage yet breathable liquid foundation enriched with high concentrations of pigment water achieving coverage without the cake. What it does is it conceals imperfections, redness, hyperpigmentation, and uneven texture with this weightless liquid foundation ideal for any skin type. It is formulated with a balance of 21% pure pigment and 22% water which work in synergy to completely soften the appearance of blemishes and uneven texture. And then it gives before and after photos of like three different skin tones. It's free of parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. Um, let's see. And yeah, so that's basically what it says about this product. So it has a lot of claims. Um, it's supposed to be full coverage yet natural looking, which I know is kind of hard to achieve, so we will see about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply half with a sponge and half with a brush to see what gives a better coverage and a better finish. So let me just zoom you guys in a little bit and we will get started. Um, so I'm gonna start out with the brush side, I think. So it has a pump and I'm just going to put, start out with one pump, one pump because it is full coverage and with its, when it's a brush, I like to just dot it. Okay, that's a good color match. Hmm. It has a scent, it's not a bad scent. It just, it smells like foundation, it has that foundation scent, so yeah. All right, and then we're just going to start. Oh, by the way, I'm using my Wet n Wild, the Pro Foundation Brush. Wow, this dries quickly. You gotta work kind of fast. But I guess when it is a. I'm sure, this isn't like a matte finish. Goodness gracious, this is drying quickly. So, one, like, one dab, like, I haven't even used the full pump, but like, covered half my face. So, it does, it is full coverage, that is for sure. I don't want to go over here yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do one pump with a sponge. Let me just blend in this stuff a little bit right there. Okay. So what's interesting is I used less product um, with a sponge. Okay, so here's the side with this sponge. I could like go over a couple areas a little bit more. Like, I don't want to put too much, I put concealer here. I don't want it to be like too intense under my eye. And then I can go over my nose a little bit more. 
As for the finish, I like the sponge side better. And it didn't seem like it dried as fast. Hmm. I just, I like them both. But I just, I feel like the sponge side is just more comfortable, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I want to see how concealer sits on top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the um, Kat Von D. I'm still finishing up this sample. I hope I have enough um, to do this with. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. I just want to see how everything sits on top of it. So I'm going to be back with you guys in just a second to tell, it, should I tell you guys how I feel so far at my first impression of actually paying attention. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so this is how it looks with the rest of my makeup on. I've had this foundation on for about 30 minutes now. Let me zoom you guys in and show you what we have going on here. Okay, so my skin looks nice and smooth and flawless. It doesn't look cakey, so so far that claim is true. The under eye area, I kind of jacked, there's no foundation underneath my eyes. It's just, I kind of jacked up on some stuff, so my under eye looks kind of weird. But other than that, this is how my skin looks. My camera has no smoothing filter on it. I just want you to, this is how the foundation looks. Um, I have, so primer, foundation, um, cream contour, cream concealer, then I have the concealer that you guys saw me apply, powder, um, bronzer, blush, highlight, and no cake. So, so far, so good. It is currently, um, 3.32 right now. I don't is currently 3.32, so I'm going to be checking in with you guys. I'm going to be getting about... So I've applied it around like three. So um, probably take off about 10. So I'll get about six or seven hours of wear out of it. But yeah, so this is how it looks. And I will be checking with you guys throughout the day. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Two hours later. It is about 5.30 right now. Um, so I put it on at three. So it's been on for about two and a half hours hours. Now the reason I'm checking in so early is because I wanted to note or let you guys be known. Uh, so it is tear proof. I, uh, I I know I only had some gluten last night and I was just been like the past hour like I don't know why like I just got like so like anxious and emotional. I was like what is happening and then I looked at the ingredients of something that I thought would have been gluten free and I wasn't, so I had like a little bit of a no like, oh, that sucks needed. Like I was like an obnoxious time, but it shows, sorry, my lashes are coming off, but it shows that it is um, tear proof. So, I mean, like right in here where I didn't have any foundation, so a little bit kind of went right, but um, that has nothing to do with the foundation, so that's okay. But yeah, this is a Wow, I'm tarted. That is how my skin looks after two and a half hours of wear. It looks just the same. Um, it has done its typical settling in my fine lines, but literally every foundation on planet Earth does that to me. But here, where I normally get it, it's not there. So, um, yeah, this is totally normal. Nothing ever stops that from happening. So that is whatever. But it looks good so far. Um, it's comfortable to wear. I do notice it on my face, but, um, you know, it's not uncomfortable. Um, let's see, what else should I update you with about it? It is not oxidizing on me. It's weird. Like, foundations, like, don't oxidize on me. Is that weird? Like, I, I think I've only experienced oxidizing once. I don't know. My skin just handles foundation really well. It's kind of weird. I have no idea why, I just don't really have things oxidize me. So I'm gonna like redo my under eye because it's like driving me nuts. So far it's doing really good. Um, it held up through my emotional breakdown really well. Like um, it happened like right after. So it's like I thought 
So it happened and I was like, oh great, now I have to like refilm this like another day. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh nice. <laughs> so um, I decided to come up here and immediately tell you guys um, so that you guys know that it help, holds up through emotional breakdowns. <laughs> See, doesn't my under eye area look like so much better now because my concealer is an all jacked up. Um, from and the con it wasn't even from like the tears. It was from like I was using a paper. Normally, like I just cried out. But I was like I kept dabbing with a paper towel and I kept like messing up my concealer. Um, but that's another reason I don't put foundation up here. One, I don't want it to look too cakey because if you do layer after layer after layer, it's gonna look cakey. Two, if I want to just fix my under eye, it's fine. Because all I have to do is take off the concealer and then redo it. And then everything else looks the same because I didn't, you know, change anything else. So, um, I do need a touch of my highlighter because I did have to remove some of that. Five hours later. Oh, I like took my lashes off as a background. I wash my face. I'm like, oh crap, I have to film my final check-in. Okay, yeah, so as I mentioned, lashes came off and like my eyeshadow was like falling off my face. But here is... Okay, so here it is, up and super close. This is how it looks after about seven hours. It still looks pretty darn good in my opinion. My eyeshadow on the other hand, that's a bad situation. So that is the foundation. I think it holds up pretty good. It stayed comfortable. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm definitely going to get some good use out of this. Um, I'm going to start playing around with it more and more and more. But it is a good, solid foundation. Um, standard foundation price, right around $40. Um, I will have a link to that along with the Octoly website down in the description box for you guys. And I will have everything else listed on my face to the best of my ability. Um, but that is everything. I am falling asleep. My eyes are probably red and bloodshot. I'm tired. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this foundation wear test and review of the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I like it, I love it, and I love you guys. And I will, I'm going to bed. So, I love you guys. And if you are just now tuning my channel for the first time, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you want to stick around by hitting that subscribe button. I don't know where it is. You could be watching this on a TV, on a screen, or on a phone. I don't know but yeah so if you hit that subscribe button be sure you hit that bell next to it as well so you don't miss any of my uploads and um i think that's everything make sure you give a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below uh, let me know some other foundations you guys want me to try out and test for you guys i would love to do that for you guys i want to start reviewing one foundation every single month i want to do like a foundation friday or something like that but um that is all so i'm gonna be going and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.